The Museum of Science and Industry has a new exhibit called 007, Inventing the World of James Bond. And our incredible Sarah went Dude. to check it out. Yes, and I brought someone special along with me. So growing up, I really remember that my dad always Aww. loved the James Bond movies. So I asked if he wanted to go with me and check out the exhibit. So we decided to kind of really immerse ourselves into Bond, Ooh. James Bond. Ooh. Take a look. We're here at the Museum of Science and Industry in the 007 Science, Inventing the World of James Bond exhibit. And here, guests can immerse themselves in the creativity that creates the world of Bond. Well, we look the part. You look good. Okay, what makes you such a big James Bond fan? It's got to be the technology, all the gadgets that are used. And Bond was the just a cool guy. <laughs> You can't get past it. People are so excited. Everybody has their favorite Bond movie, and they're like, oh, like they can't believe they're seeing it in person. And then we also have some incredibly fun interactives where you get to be like Q, or you get to be the spy. How many James Bond movies have there been? 25 with Eon Productions and two with another production company. Knowledge, look at that. Are you geeking out right now? I am, I am. This is a, a wonderful exhibit. It's unbelievable. And you saw this car in what movie? This was like rolling over and over? I believe it was Casino Royale. Crazy. Yeah, pretty well beat up. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most exciting things about the Bond movies are the incredible situations that Bond gets into and how he solves them. We have a car here that shows all the damage from it flipping over. It set a world record. It flipped over seven times. The science and technology allows them to do those seemingly impromptu, easy, always working out stunts. Months and months go into all of the stunts that you see here. People associate Bond with cars, but he also did some pretty incredible stunts in boats. Stop, stop, you didn't finish. They wanted to do a chase on a river, so they first discovered there's a boat in New Zealand that it goes up shallow rivers that they use. So, okay, now they've got their base boat. They show it to the director, who sends it to the prop department to make it bondish. And so the first times they said, that's not bond enough. They said, make that boat look like a Formula One car. And that's the boat that you see here. I think Pierce Brosnan is my favorite Bond. He is. That would be my number two. Yeah. Who's your one? Sean Connery. Sean Connery. I you know. don't say. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yes, you yes. are good. <laughs> my God. 1977, The Spy Who Loved Me. Bond also had a car that turned into a submarine. And the whole reason that got started is the director had seen this car as a Lotus. And he said, it kind of looks like a submarine. And that sparked the idea for creating a Bond car that, that turns into a submarine. We've been talking about the stunts that Bond does. So there's an interactive here where you can perform three stunts and see if you, uh, you'd make a good stunt person. We can do it. Save yourself! Not too much farther. <laughs> You also get to create a gadget and then test it to see if it would work in a real spy situation. 007 has identified a potential enemy agent and needs you to conduct surveillance. Build a gadget to secretly monitor the suspect and his activities. Ooh, what a tracking beacon. In a pen. In a pen. Yeah, okay, there you that's go. what we're gonna do. Perfect. All right. Ooh, it's working. We came, we saw. Sure. Sure. Okay. Right. Watching a Bond movie, a lot of technology is introduced. And sometimes that's brand new technology. And while you're watching the Bond movie, you are the first people in the world to see it. But decades later, someone must have been inspired by that piece of technology, that gadget, which wasn't real at the time, but visionary, to then make it yourself. And the exhibit ends with a section pairing Bond technology to real world technology today. Time for a vodka martini? Shaken, not stirred. Ooh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my, you two look so dashing. Oh, the exhibit is awesome. If you guys are a James Bond fans at all, oh. you have to go. It is so cool. I love that. And uh, you said the exhibit will be open through October 27th, and it does require an additional ticket. So. Yes, 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 yes. So just get the additional ticket when you go. And it got me thinking, so James yeah. Bond fans have kind of been talking about who was going to take over yes. as the next 007 ever since the announcement that Daniel yeah. Craig was going to be down and stepping down from the yeah. role. So some said Killian Murphy, uh -huh. that he would be perfect. Former Bond Pierce Brosnan said... Killian would do a magnificent job. Mm -hmm. However, Killian says he's a little too old for the role. Yeah. But who knows? But I was thinking, what about a female Bond? And after seeing my barrel roll oh. and some of my stunts out there on the rafters, do you agree? I mean, I feel like that was me throwing my Listen. hat in the ring saying, call me. Listen. I'll play M. I'm your Bond. I'll play M. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> you committed Did to you that, that role. Yes. And I, I don't I, I think it should be you.